are you guys doing out here? We're just <clears throat> getting some fresh air. Chilling, huh? Yep. Are you enjoying that, Obed? I don't know how excited he can be. What do you think, bud? Do you think we can pull it off, this homeschool stuff? Uh, I think so, Obed. It's going to be a challenge, isn't it, Bethany? Yeah. I think the best part is that we won't have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning anymore. Yeah. That'll be a blessing. You guys' bus ride was so long. I do miss my friends. I'm sure you do. How do you feel about distance learning? I don't mind it as long as I have something to do, but I think I would prefer the face-to-face. -face. I'm sure you would. But they give you lots of activities, right? Yep. And hopefully with flexible schedules and all that, we can, you know, do some fun things. Hopefully. Yeah. What do you think, Obed? You think mom, you think you can keep your mom straight on the homeschool? We'll, we'll figure it out, won't we? Yeah. Say hi. Can you talk for everybody? Gosh, he's just getting so big. Yes. And Bethany, your feet do not touch the ground at all, but his do. So he's definitely taller than you. Yep. And his shoulders are very broad also. They just suddenly got broad. Than I know. He's becoming a handsome young man, aren't you, Obed? Hopefully. He's trying to look how he's he's trying to swing. Hopefully what, Bethany? Hopefully we, you can get him to talk during homeschool. You think I, I would have to be a miracle worker, wouldn't I? Yeah. I mean we do get him to say syllables and it seems like he's right. using them in context a lot of times, right? He's calling for mom, right? Yep. And, and it's clear and obvious that that's what he's doing. And dad too, right? Yep. Yep. And he'll try to say dog. And he'll try to say, sometimes he'll try to say go. There's definitely hope. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Hi. Can you say be? Say be. Be. Say Mom. Oh, but can you say mom? Are we doing row row, Jess? <laughs> row row. Row row row. <laughs> Gently down stream. <laughs> row row. Row 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 your boat. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. <laughs> Life is but ice cream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but ice cream. Row, row, row your boat. Jesse came over and snuggled up with me, and it was so sweet, and now she's starting to turn into crazy lady. What? Row, row again? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but ice cream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but ice cream. <laughs> row, row, row again. Row, row, row your boat <laughs> gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. You got anything else? Row, row, row. It's hard to believe that we just did your hair. 
<laughs> row, row again. Uh. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. I think Jesse's trying to stay awake. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but ice cream. <gasps> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, merrily. She's trying to make me go faster and faster. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life's what is free. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life's what is free. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily. Oh, we're going to go to a different song now. Oh, now she's done with me. Okay. All right. That's what happens. I asked you if you were going to have your coffee drink today. What is my coffee drink? It's... Uh, frappuccino. And we make them at home, don't we? Yes, we do. And so, like yesterday, it was me and Hannah, right? Yes. So it's kind of like a special day down on the patio. Yeah. Later in the day when I go have my drink. Yes. Yes. I don't get to have it alone so much anymore. <laughs> I always have somebody joining me, right? And today it's your turn, isn't it? Yes. All right. I think we can do that. But we have to make more ice cubes, more coffee ice cubes. Right? Yep. But yes, you can join me for a frappuccino on the deck today. Thanks. What do you have, young lady? A frappuccino. A mocha frappuccino. Yeah. I'm doing a close-up into your cup, Bethany. A mocha frappuccino. Mom's got hers here. Uh, yeah. It's a yummy thing to have out on the patio, isn't it? We take turns, don't we? Yes. Enjoy. Thanks. Okay, you guys, this is Joe's Temporary Digs. We are, um, you've heard us talking about how we're doing his office. It's going to be really nice. We're getting him a, a really big executive desk with, um, you know, hopefully everything that he needs up there. And, um, but we're waiting for our painter to come back, right? Yep. And this, where you are, is the future therapy room. So the reasons that we haven't shown you the therapy room is because we're not there yet we have ordered blinds for the windows this oh, used to be yeah. the fine motor room fine motor room that's right because i have the legos and the train sets and all that kind of stuff and lincoln logs and things like that but our kids don't use those or don't need those no anymore. and i'm having a really hard time purging all of the baby toys like i sometimes it's very hard, and I mean, we paid a fortune for some of this stuff, and you know, I, it, sometimes I'm in denial about how, you know, the kids are adults. I mean, let's face it, and so we hey, have- What do you do with 50 Beanie Babies? Well, at some point we're gonna have to get rid of my ass, Joel, if he wanted his Beanie Babies, and he said no. Uh, um, but if we find his Pokemon cards, he does want okay. those. So they're here somewhere, I or, somewhere, you know, unless we've right. purged them. So we, during the unemployment years, we thought we were going to have to move. And we did the first clean out of the playroom then. So what we have here is just not much that's left over. And it's kind of been like this. I mean, we haven't, oh, haven't really... Five years. Right. And so this homeschool situation is kind of forcing us into a whole nother and deal. Being down here. And you having to be and down here and working from home and all that. And so we, we are trying to get everything organized for the start of school. Like by Labor Day, yep. we should have all this done. Yeah, so you can... Up here yeah I know you're gonna be out soon and then that space is gonna be for kids but we did order a big um, look at this mess I feel so bad but I've been going through and sorting things because we have a lot of like now you would think that those kind of toys we, when we first started okay with blind children right you think that that would explain to a blind child what an elephant is. But it doesn't. But it doesn't. No. It, they cannot relate the size and scale of what an elephant is from a small model. It's it. too abstract. It's so abstract. And, and yeah. we had to learn the hard way right. that 
the way a blind person, a way a blind child discovers their world has to be kind of on their terms, not through our eyes. And more concrete, like you would take them to a, a place where you could ride an ride elephant. An elephant. Right. And they could have that experience. A petting zoo, right? that kind or of understand thing. understand what a what a trunk of an elephant looks like. And there's a place down yeah. in Southern Virginia that lets you do elephant rides still. We're yeah. hoping to get down there. Maybe one point. day. But um, but that would be more of an experiential learning experience instead of just having a, an object. Because it, right. do, it doesn't, they can't, they can't relate to things like that. It's also like colors, the same thing. You know, it's hard to it's really Just, hard. You can't describe what a color is. It's association. Uh, they have to associate how they, how they, so that's, you know, there's probably a lot of stuff in here that's like that, that when we first started, we didn't know. And you we know. still don't know. And We're still know. learning, you know, as we go we along. It's, it's a lifelong yeah. thing, but, um. But there's some things that we have gotten through the years, like manipulatives and things that are going to be good for Obed for the homeschool. And so now there's, is we're. There, is that a, a tortilla container over there? Right. Oh, this was like, this was like Hannah's oh favorite. Believe it or not, she loved this thing, and she would sit and spin it for hours. I can never With get. The lid. There's a lid here somewhere. And we'll have to demonstrate that. Somewhere. Yeah, I don't know if she can still do that. Hey, I'm Bethany. Sure can I see that? Are we being weird? Can I see that? The tortilla thing. You put tortillas in there. But Hannah used to sit and um, she used to love to spin it. And you remember our favorite Mexican restaurant? They gave her one. So, and you guys can see our color scheme down here. You know what I did? I used all of the leftover paint from upstairs to paint down here. So, like the purple is our living room and dining room. And the green is our kitchen and our, and our sunroom. And that is the color of our of our morning room and then I did a purple stripe in there so I had all this leftover paint <laughs> so that's how we got the colors down here but it works. it works yeah so the blinds are coming we've got a big um high school size table and chairs probably over in that area there but I have to get rid of this like little kid train table and some of the little kid things are just I'm going through now and trying to find you know pieces and parts but like Lincoln logs are great manipulatives and over here I've got some really cool like these snap blocks are kind of cool for Obed and you know some musical things and we it's a mess because we're down here every day hanging out but the we've put the keyboard up on a stand and you guys have seen the trampoline this thing I probably have to get rid of. It's a baby thing. They used to use it as a balance beam. They used to like to get inside of it. You can take it apart and climb on top. And I'd love to donate it to somebody, but unfortunately with this COVID situation, right, Bethany? Yeah. Nobody wants our, our donations anymore, which is kind of sad. So I have been having a hard time coming to terms with having to throw some of this stuff away. But we did get the hooks for the swing. We've got the furniture coming. I gotta get in here and clean the carpets and organize everything really well. This is like me in my uniform. I'm in here, this is, you know, the reality of how I look most days, you know. We have got these little wobble stools. These are perfect. You know, when, um, when you're working with Obed, the 18 inch one, like an adult can sit there and then the kid can sit across from you on these and do various activities and things. So that's kind of cool. The um, gym spin over there, the kids love to spin. It's good for balance. We got some, we got some uh, therapy balls. You can hear Joe in there with a video that you're gonna see soon. <laughs> it's kind of weird. We sort of suck at vlogging, but you know, we're, we're getting there. Um, but we wanted you to know that we really, we really do have this room, but it's just that we have not done enough work on it. We wanted to show you when it was farther along. A lot of the things that we're going to bring in here, we're going to kind of have to wait until the, um, I'm waiting until like the therapists come in and tell us what we should get. You know, we're going to need some recommendations, but um, Obed always enjoyed the swing and he does well with the therapeutic listening. 
it's not music therapy it's therapeutic listening it's a whole different thing and they use the um, earphones and the types of music to initiate different types of activity so not only does it take a professional to recommend the equipment but it also takes a professional to train me how to use it so it's going to be an ongoing process and we're just going to start out with some of the basic things that we know will be good but um, that's you know the starting of the thing we're, we're gonna get there eventually try to let him sit on it by himself and see if okay. he can see if he can balance on his own power bethany yeah. Dad's bringing down a table that came. Some of our chairs have begun to arrive. Oh, on the weekend? Yeah. His balance is actually pretty good. That's That can't hurt him, Bethany. That's good for him, actually. Hi. Furniture delivery? Yep. Two more chairs. Total of four. I like them. That color is nice. And it's comfortable. Very comfortable. That's good lumbar support. Can I use one of these for my desk? <laughs> Temporarily. Good. Very nice. Dad's uh, new chair for his office is upstairs, not put together yet. You're not letting me use it until the office is done. We have to have a proper reveal. Exactly. Have him sit in the new chair and see if he likes it. Okay. It'll probably make a better dining chair for him than the one he's got, to be honest. Here, come sit here. Come sit over here. Come on. Come on. Oh, wow. He sits up there. You want to sit in the one, too, Bethany? Here. Here. See, we're getting, doing away with the kid size stuff. That's a tip. Wow. That's a regular sized chair. Yeah. It's big, huh? Yeah. Let's have Obed sit on that chair um, more often, Bethany, to kind of keep him off of his belly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And the table will be here shortly. I think we're going to have to order a second table, though, after consulting with our teacher friend. It's okay, though. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We have one, uh, the round activity table can kind of be for everybody, okay. but I'm, it seems like I'm going to need a kidney table to work with Obed. For one-on-one? One-on-one. So. On one. so we'll have to, have to look into that. You look like you're a little schoolboy, Obed. Mm -hmm. It's comfortable, isn't it, Bethany? Yep. You going to put those uh, hooks in the ceiling for the swing? At some point. <laughs> uh-huh. You like it, bud? <laughs> Dad's getting the hairy eyeball honeydew oh. eye bef behind the cam from behind oh. the camera. The side eye. The side eye. The evil eye. Oh. We've got to pick the right uh, oh, platform swings and stuff. We need to. That's the easy part. That's the easy part. No, I know what to get him. Okay. Yeah, and we bought him some things today for his communication goals after speaking with our friend, didn't we? It's really, really, really helpful to have a teacher on our team. Yeah. We got him, what are they called, honey? Twin Tw talks. Twin talks. We She's got three of them. They're right. Double switches, basically. Which he's ne he didn't have that before. He only had a Big Mac in school, a single switch. So already I think we're going to. So at least you can record different um, commands or objects. Choices. Object choices on the on the double switch and then we put one we're going to put one down here and we're going to put one up in the kitchen and then we put up one up in this bedroom so that we can guide him to two different choices right and so we'll on him on those choices so he can decide for himself so already i mean the um our our friend our teacher has uh, looked over obed's goals and she was a little disappointed with how <coughs> You know how low they were, the goals, and um, so we're gonna we're gonna beef him up. I think he's gonna do better. I think he's gonna make a lot of progress, and just going to the two switch device is gonna make a big difference. So we should have had some of those devices at home so we could have worked 
with him on those, but now he, he will He's have them. never had a communication device come home in his backpack with him. This is one of the things that is, it's good about being forced into being, becoming a homeschool parent, you know, because we can have more control over those <laughs> things, right, Obed? And so you guys will have an appropriate therapy room, and um, it used to be the old playroom, but now we can't call it a playroom anymore because we're dealing with yeah, adults. adults. <laughs> yeah, adults. So. Look. Say ball. Say b b ball. Touch the ball, Obed. Touch so the ball. The <laughs> there you go. Good job. Yay. Look at there's progress already. <laughs> Did you find the ball? Okay, now say ball. <laughs> he, I, I feel like I am very confident that he will. Daddy, touch the ball. Okay. Obed, touch the ball. Bethany, touch the ball. Obed, touch the ball. Good job, Yay! bud. All See, right. he doesn't even need hand over hand for that. He I just know. he just needs extra time to respond. He, he does need extra That's time. all. But Obed, you're a smart kid. You know exactly yeah. what's going on here, don't you? See, now right there, there's our adaptive PE and our communication goal all wrapped into one. Right. Progress <laughs> made today. <laughs> right, Obed? All right. Good, Good job. job, bud. Daddy touched the ball. Bethany, touch the ball. Obed, touch the ball. Good job! All right, Obed, good job, bud. Woohoo! Now we can't get him to stop. That's okay. That's okay. Ball. Ball. This is all cause and effect. I know, he you know, loves cause and effect. Ball. Now he's pushing, see? Yep. It gives him a lot of sensory input. That's perfectly cool. Yeah. Kid's got rhythm, that's for sure. It's it's very musical. Everything is very musical to him. That's why I'm excited to get the music therapist in here. Just keep at it. Next thing you know. What was that, sir? Did you say ball? Oh, bed? Is that funny, Bethany? Yeah. Let's see, if I turn it off and he says it, and then I turn it back on and say he said it, nobody's going to believe us. Yeah. <laughs> But he does, he will um, say words in, in the syllable, the first syllable. And he's pretty good about saying things, yeah, I know, right? He okay. said, I just did. <laughs> Good job, Obed. Every change.